What's going on guys? It's Jake here from Chief Live Gaming. Today a review slash kind of discussion video about running an airbrush off of a portable air tank for your hobby needs. So I'm going to kind of make this a, a bit of a shorter video, go over the finer points. I'm going to show you how I set this up to get it to work. And uh, just at the end, we'll kind of just talk about my thoughts. So the idea here, guys, I'm going to sit down come over here, is this is a five-gallon air tank that you fill up with one of these valve dealies that, like, you would find a valve stem on your tires of your car. So you come to uh, a gas station or maybe you have a compressor in your garage like I do, and you just, uh, you know, hook this thing up and put some air in it, and away you go. But there are a couple issues with this setup. So one, this is not a regulator. This just shows you basically the the amount of air left in your tank and how much PSI that that amount of air kind of produces, I guess. Because this, this thing here is just an on-off valve that you can uh, keep the air from going into this line or not. So this is not a regulator. That's the issue we need to to take care of because we obviously want to set the PSI uh, lower than like 120, right, if this thing is full, for using our airbrush. So the way we resolve that, you take off the stock uh, line that's on here just on screws it's usually like a something that you would use to fill up tires that that's kind of what comes on these tanks because that's kind of what people use them for rip that bad boy off replace it with just a short amount of airbrush hose and you want this to be a high um, psi rating on this hose most of them are fine because again that's taking your full 120 psi from this tank and then we're going to step it down with the regulator so we follow the line up few feet and then you hook it up to a regulator so here we have just a um, looks like it goes up to 200 psi this was just a cheap uh, regulator and we've we've hooked it up here and then I have a quick disconnect fitting on this end that I hook up my airbrush hose to which runs into a moisture trap built into the line which is pretty important to have and then goes to my airbrush. So what we're doing is regulating the pressure here and you can see we've got it at about 30 psi that's adjustable on the top and I'm gonna give you guys a look. We'll pick up my airbrush. Let's try not to get the glare. Oh this is this might be challenging. Okay so here we go. Let's turn on the, uh, the airbrush. You can see that when I'm running the airbrush it drops down to just under 20 psi which is about where we want it. to give you a look here so it does work right that's that's fantastic and again fully adjustable you can uh, increase or decrease your air pressure as necessary and uh, very nice so there's there's very little moisture present because there's no compressing of the air going on your air is already in your tank um, it's obviously no noise because there's no compressor running there's a lot of benefits to having this kind of a setup you can pick up and move your whole setup really easily but um, you know that's not really a concern for most people and with a small airbrush compressor those are obviously very portable as well so the benefits of something like this the main number one benefit of running your airbrush off of this kind of a setup is cost the air uh, air I almost said compressor air tank here was about $25 at my local hardware store to set it up with this line, the regulator, and the fitting was about another ten to twelve dollars. So you're looking at right about thirty-five to forty dollars to get this up and running, which is very reasonable and uh, might be a nice way to get your airbrush going if you already have a compressor like I do out in the garage. So you just, when you're done, just disconnect your fitting I probably should purge that line first you uh, take this bad boy pick up your tank go out in your garage fill it up with air come back reconnect your fitting your hose and uh, you can continue airbrushing so that is the main benefit 
low cost. My thoughts on the whole thing, I've used it for a few days now, and I just have to say, guys, I do a lot of airbrushing. I did uh, about three hours of airbrushing today, and I had to fill this twice. That's, um, so three full tanks of air nearly for about three hours of airbrushing. So if I was sitting here with this airbrush and held this button down the entire time, I would say that the tank would run the airbrush for about a half hour to 40 minutes, something like that. So that is the main limitation of this setup. If that's not long enough or you don't want to have to fill it up as often, you can get a bigger air tank. I think they make uh, 11 gallon tanks at like Harbor Freight. So, you know, questionable quality there, but that's about $40 US. So once you get into that, you're approaching the cost of an airbrush compressor. Just buying a compressor for your airbrush, a small one. So, uh, something to consider, but again, no noise, it's good for other things, and 11 gallons twice as big, over twice as, as big as this tank, will last you a long time. If you're somebody that uses your airbrush for just a couple models here and there, maybe do some base coating or priming, that 11 gallon tank will last you, I mean weeks, months, a long, a long time. But if you use your airbrush every day, multiple hours a day, uh, I would not advise this setup because uh, I'm already sick of it and it's only been two days. So I'm gonna have to end up bringing my compressor inside. I didn't wanna have to do that, but I don't wanna spend the money on a little airbrush compressor when I already have a compressor for my own needs. So I hope this video is helpful to you guys if you're considering running an airbrush off of a portable air tank. Let me know what your experiences are in the comments below or your thoughts on the whole setup. And um, happy hobbying, guys. I hope this has uh, been beneficial to a couple of you guys. Pretty, it's, I don't know, it's, I want to like it, guys, but I just have to give it a thumbs down overall. I'm going to do that there, right there because of my personal usage level is so high that this is just not something that's feasible for me. So maybe you'll find it more helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. Look forward to more content coming soon, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.